Federal judge blindsides Hillary sets Washington swamp on fire. The Clintons' many crimes have been well documented for decades. From Whitewater to Uranium One, they've proven that they are conniving, ruthless, and will do anything for money. Thus far they've been able to escape justice thanks to their connections, much to the frustration to the American people. Many thought Clinton's latest scandal involving her emails would finally be the nail in her coffin, but former FBI Director James Comey allowed her to escape consequences yet again. But now, there are some determined people in Washington who are refusing to let this case slide, and a federal judge's order has the Washington swamp in panic mode. From the Daily Caller A federal court is compelling former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to respond to further questions under oath about her notorious emails. U.S. District Court Judge Emmett Sullivan issued the ruling Wednesday in response to a lawsuit from Judicial Watch, the conservative research and investigative group that has long had its sights on both of the Clintons. Judicial Watch celebrated their major win in court. Heavy check mark at Tom Fitton. Breaking, court rules late today Hillary Clinton must answer more email questions including key QS about the setting up of her email system. Court denied our request to unseal VID depositions of Clinton aides. Great work by Michael Beckshaw. Twitter adds info and privacy. Getting the Clintons into court has taken forever, but maybe we're finally approaching the truth. The hard-working staff of Judicial Watch has never stopped fighting to see Clinton face Judgment Day, and two years of lobbying the courts have finally paid off. But Hillary Clinton seems to have nine lives, actually. She seems to have an unlimited amount of lives and has cackled her way through every scandal she's faced. Why should this time be any different? Well for starters, Hillary isn't the only one being dragged into this latest suit. The plaintiffs are trying to get to the bottom of why Huma Abedin, Clinton's close friend and personal assistant, had access to